Hey what's up guys, welcome to a wheel settings video on Forza Motorsport 7. I've seen quite a lot of people being interested in my wheel settings during the past two live streams. So right here is just a quick dedicated video of showing my wheel settings. Uh, before we start I have to say that I'm on the PC and not the Xbox One. So these settings might not feel good on the Xbox, but they might, I don't know. Uh, on, the, on the PC you just have a bit more flexibility because you can also change uh, settings in your drivers such as uh, springs, dampers and all the force feedback stuff. On the Xbox you are just limited to the in-game settings. Uh, another thing is that, that I'm using normal steering and not sim steering because sim steering just feels awful and it's not realistic at all. You just want to use normal steering. Alright, let's move on to the actual wheel settings. Let's go to the options. Then controller options, inputs, and then advanced. Uh, to start with the dead zones, um, these are pretty much personal, but I would definitely recommend setting the steering dead zones to zero and a hundred, because that will basically give you no dead zones in the wheel. All the other ones are just personal, it's for the brake and gas pedals and stuff like that. Um, moving on to the vibration scale, I've set mine to zero because I do not like the F Forza 7 vibration effects. If you like them, you can turn the setting up. It shouldn't change anything to the actual force feedback itself. So it's just pure the vibrations that go through the wheel. Uh, then the uh, force feedback scale, you want to set that all the way up to 100. If you, if you use a lower value, it will make the wheel feel too weak and it will not self-steer properly anymore. So you just want to have this on, a, on 100 and then change the force feedback strength in, a la in another setting later on. Uh, moving on to the steering sensitivity. Uh, this is basically the wheel rotation. So when you set this to 100%, it will use your wheel's full rotation. So in my case, that's 900 degrees. If you change this volume to, for example, 50%, it will only use half that rotation. So in my case, that's 450 degrees. And it will basically put a f soft lock at 450 degrees. But I'm using 900, so I've set mine to 100%. Then the steering linearity, um, I've kept this at default value, which is 50. If you set this lower, it will make the, feel, the wheel uh, more sensitive in the inside of the steering, but more sensitive on the outside of the steering. And it will do the opposite if you use a higher value. But yeah, I liked 50, and if you want to change this, then I would suggest changing this by very low values. So just try like little things like 51, 52, maybe 49, 48, just really small changes. Because changing this to, for example, like 35, it will make the wheel feel completely different. But yeah, I think 50 is just uh, the right value anyway. Um, then the most important... Um, option right here is the force feedback understeer which doesn't really make sense to me because it's not really changing the force feedback understeer at all i don't think uh, what this basically does if you use a high value it will not self steer the wheel anymore it will basically if you transition for example it will basically just not transition anymore it will just stay where it is so you want to use the lowest value and then the self steering will work properly and yeah, that's pretty much the most important setting of Forza. And I've seen, yeah, like on other Forzas, I had this problem as well, and they didn't have this option. So, like for example, on Forza 6 on the Xbox, I, you could not change this option, and I think it was just turned away up or something like that, because my wheel just wouldn't spin itself. But now changing this down, it actually spins by itself. So yeah, you want to have this all the way down. And then we're gonna move on to the force feedback minimum force. And this, yeah, this doesn't really make sense either to me. It says minimum force, but what this basically does is change the actual strength of the force feedback. So if you set it really low, it will make the wheel feel really strong and have a lot of forces, but it will make it feel really jerky. And when you turn this volume all the way up, it will make it really smooth, but really... It will have really low forces, so it will not spin fast enough anymore. So you just kind of want to find an in-between setting, which feels good for your wheel. And in my case, that's 120. And usually somewhere in the middle is a right value. But yeah, it's kind of wheel dependent, and you, you just have to play with that value a little bit. Uh, then the wheel damper scale. And this is kind of wheel dependent as well, because 
it really depends on how heavy your wheel is by default. Um, for me, like 55 is a nice value. If you put this higher, it will um, it will make the wheel really um, heavy, and it will not spin fast enough anymore. And if you put this lower, it will obviously do the opposite. It will make it really light, but make it spin faster. But it will also make it really jerky when you make it a low value. So you kind of want to just find a right in between setting, which makes it spin fast enough, but not jerky. So yeah, for me that is 55. But yeah, but yeah, you can change that obviously if you like to have it a little bit lighter or heavier. Then the center spring scale. I honestly don't really know what this does. I've been playing around with this earlier, and I can't really find any difference in differences of setting this to zero and a hundred. If anything, it will make it feel a little lighter when set to zero. It will make the wheel feel lighter, and if you set it to a hundred, it will make it feel heavier. I think, but. I, I'm not sure, the The difference is so small that I, c I can barely notice anything. Not in drifting at least. Maybe for racing it's different, but I don't know. For drifting it doesn't change much. So yeah, that's basically my wheel settings. I will now show some drifting and then it will end the video. So uh, thanks for watching.